What makes someone worthy? Think about that question and let me know in the comments after you've seen this video. Thor has lost the ability to wield Mjolnir during the time of the Marvel tie-in event Original Sin. Nick Fury, while wielding the powers of the Watcher, whispers something in Thor's ear and leaves him unable to lift the mighty hammer, eventually paving the way for Jane Foster to lift it. But after a while, we find out that the words that Nick said to Thor was, Gore was right. These words hit Thor more than a punch from a frost giant. This is when he realised that he and the rest of the gods are not worthy of admiration as they all are vain and vengeful creatures, making it impossible for him to wield his beloved hammer. Hyperion is a Marvel hero that came from a different universe during something called an incursion, where his universe was destroyed and he was the last survivor, floating in the nothingness, until scientists working for AIM dragged him through to the 616 universe. He has all the powers of Superman, but Hyperion wasn't strong enough to save his original universe. He failed everyone that he knew and loved, they all died, so he vowed to protect his new universe to the best of his abilities. He became quick friends with a fellow quote unquote unworthy god, Thor, and the two forged a strong bond. But with the impending collapse of the multiverse, two along with some other unbelievable strong heroes, such as the new wielder of the unbelievably powerful Starbrand, embark on a one way mission to stop the incursions from destroying their earth. Alone in the darkness of a destroyed universe, the team can feel the presence emanating from the void before them. We are beyond. Dreamers. Destroyers. All of reality are a whim. Who dares stand before us? Thor with his fake Mjolnir stakes his claim. Against the end of all things, Gods, legends, the very best of heroes, you face the Avengers this day. Who there stands before us? He triumphantly proclaims. Two, two will stand. Two figures emerge from the Kraken space. They explain that they are Beyonders, and they are running an experiment on the Omniverse, and they should run while they still can. But Thor, ever defiant, stands strong. He will not run, as there is nowhere left to run to. They reveal that they are behind the incursions destroying all of the universes. Thor tells them to stop now. But the experiment is not finished, he explains. Yes it is. Thor throws his hammer directly at the being, imploding it. But it seems not to be hurt, as it reforms in an instant. Extinction is inevitable. Hyperion realises that this is their last chance to save the universe. He's seen one die already. He doesn't want to see another go the same way. Thor leaps at it with all his might, but it stops him dead in his tracks. Ripping his metal arm from his body and then swatting him away like a fly. Hyperion gathers up the broken Thor as Starbrand is distracted and is impaled by the cruel creature. It's killed him. The thing is so fast, but being fast is nice and all, but is it faster than light? Hyperion screams with rage as he lasers the all-seeing god. Look here monster, I am the sun. But the monster is unharmed and he grabs Hyperion, calling him a fool. He literally creates stars and he can destroy them whenever he wants. What makes him any different? And while all this is going on, Starbrand seems to be getting ready to implode. Thor knocks the beast away from his friend. If the monster wants to kill Hyperion, kill them all, kill everything, then he's more than welcome. But Thor will go first, and he will not go quietly. The creature is amazed at who Thor is and what he stands for. Even though it's futile, he still stands. How pointless. How hopeless. Starbrand has reached maximum capacity. He loudly stands and preaches his tale. 
I just wanted to live a normal life, powerless and small. And now you've killed me universes away from my home. I never learned to live with what I have become. And here at the end of it all, I can't even contain it. What a crock of shit. After the intergalactic dust settles, Thor and Hyperion think it's over. They've won. Starbrand has killed them all. But the fissure in the sky is still open. Their experiment continues. Hyperion says they will need to find a way to close it. Healing begins with closing the wound, right? Thor agrees, but the cut is deep. It will take time, but I don't think they have a lot of it left. Oh no, Thor. Look. More of them. Much more. The two brothers in arms stand and stare at their destiny in silence. For a moment, then it breaks when Hyperion realises what's about to happen today. They will die. But they will die on their own terms. So one more time, they will give their very best as Thor tries to pick up his fake hammer. But he fails. Right now, he's so unworthy that he cannot even pick up a replica from a different universe. He laughs in the face of his destiny. He will not face the end as the unworthy, but he will face it as his father's son, Odin's son. He would offer Hyperion a drink, but unfortunately he has none right now. And Hyperion tells him it's because they drank it all. <laughs> Thor stands with one arm left, ready to meet his maker. But before they go, Hyperion tells him that he found it strange that he survived the death of two worlds, but it looks like it's catching up with him right now. His life has become a dark thing, but Thor has made it better. Then he asks one final question. Will you wait for me in Valhalla? Brother, this day, I will race you there. Against the bleak nothing of dead space, two gods fell to many. The sun shone one last time. There was lightning and thunder, and then silence. Well everyone, how did you like that story? I'm currently reading Jonathan Hickman's run on Avengers and Fantastic Four, all leading up to uh, Secret Wars, the 2015 version. And this is probably one of my favourite storylines from it all. I literally have goosebumps reading out the lines. But let me know what you thought down below, and if you've read the run, what do you think of it? And can you answer that question I said at the start of the video? So yeah. Like, share, comment, subscribe, comment down below, let me know. Peace.